What's up guys, this is the only Ninja Warring Aviators and Superhero Hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel and welcome to Weapons Explained, the series where I explain a weapon that you hopefully care enough about to click the video. And if you're watching this, then I have succeeded. Today we're going over everyone's favorite weapon from CSGO, the Karambit. But first, run that intro. While I have your attention, consider subscribing if you aren't and liking the video if you like it. It would really help me out and help me grow the channel and it's, you know, free. So, you know, free stuff is nice. Now, the Karambit is believed to have originated in Indonesia where it's said to have been inspired by the claws of tigers and you can clearly see the similarities. As with many other weapons out there, the original design of this weapon was for ag agricultural purposes, specifically to rake roots. But as humans do, people quickly realize that this was an excellent weapon for war and combat. Well, at least it's not raining. Gotta love humanity, am I right? The weapon is designed to be held with the blade pointing downward from the bottom of the fist and the blade curving forwards. This means you're able to hook the inside of people's arms, legs, and cut vital blood vessels that can very critically wound your target. Careful, you could puncture the hull of an Empire-class Fire Nation battleship, leaving thousands to drown at sea. Because it's so sharp. The finger guard that is located at the tip of the other end of the Karambit acts as both a protection against attacks and disarms, and a weapon to bash, you know, people's heads in or use to get uh, leverage on an attack. The short Filipino Karambit has become particularly popular with the West because of their shorter blade, which allows more powerful cutting strikes and more painful ripping of the target. It also allows you to hide it significantly easier. This weapon is perfect for systematically targeting an opponent's weak points and taking them down systematically. Basically, if you were to combine a ninja and a chi blocker, that's basically what you end up with. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. In modern times, many karambits have been modified, some even having folding blades and being made of very expensive metals and crafted at a very high standard, as opposed to being a makeshift farming tool in its origin. Because again, if it can be used for war, humans really like it and love giving it upgrades. Upgrades, people, upgrades. That's how we make the dough. Now, if you want one of these bad boys for yourself, just check out the links down in the description below. They have a variety of different colors and styles for whatever aesthetic your doomsday scenario calls for. But until next time, don't forget to like this video and let me know what weapons you want me to do in the future. If you like this series, I know this is one of my favorite series to do, so let me know what you think. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.